We have a flag on the photo. Today on the Lightroom Whisperer, I'll teach you how to use those flags. Let's get right to it. Now amongst all those different filtering options that you have in Lightroom, the flags are really the only one that I consider a temporary rating. All of the others, uh, keywords, colors, and the star ratings that I use, they live with those photos the entirety of their life. Sure, I mean, I might add a different star to it if I like a picture or, uh, a little more down the road than I did originally. But something like a flag, I'm only going to use to say, hey, I'm looking for this that suits a criteria. And then when I'm done looking in that type of search, I'll usually take those flags away. So to give you an idea of what I mean, Right now, I'm looking for pictures that I want to upload to the web. I've already flagged a few of them in my catalog, which contains over 65,000 shots. If you notice, when I click on a photograph, I can actually go and there's a little flag icon that shows up in the upper corner. If I click on that, it'll flag the photo for me. You can now see that that flag stays white. That has been flagged. The other way to do this, if you don't see that flag icon especially, is do a right click, the two finger click if you're on a touchpad. About halfway down, you'll see set flag. There you can choose flag, unflag, or rejected. In this case, since I've already flagged it, I'm gonna leave that alone. Now, if you're more of a drop down menu type of person, don't worry, Lightroom has you covered. As with most things in Lightroom, there's three or four ways you can set pretty much anything. So if I highlight that picture that I want, my, it's now my selected image, I can go up to my photo drop down menu and you see about two thirds of the way down, you see set flag. And there I can also tell it to be a flagged image. Now that I've got the flag set on there, if I wanna search these out, for instance, in this case, I've already flagged a few other photos that I wanna upload, I'm gonna go and tell it where I wanna search. So first and foremost, I'm going to tell it, in this case, all photographs, since I wanna look at all 67,000 plus in my current catalog. And then I'm gonna to go to my filter bar. If you haven't seen my filters episode, you should check in the link below. When I go into filters in this menu, I can say, just show me the flagged photographs. And it has now the five photos that I've chosen that I wanna upload. Next part is exporting. If you'd like to get a little better idea what exporting is and how to handle it, I'd make sure to hit the subscription and the notification bell below so that way you can not miss the next episode. When I'm done with my export, I'm gonna actually go ahead and highlight all of these. In this case, I'm gonna click on the first, hold down shift and click on the last. It fills in all the middle ones. If I click on the flag icon, and then I'm gonna unflag them. Now it's fresh, it's empty. So the next time I need to flag images, whether it be for uh, printing for a gallery that I need to hang for, or uploading to the web again, I can go through and start flagging, and it's only the pictures for that next thing I'm looking for that are gonna be flagged. That's it, really. There's not a lot to the flags in Lightroom. For me, they end up being more of a temporary rating, as you saw here for finding some images that I want to export, and then just before the export, pulling them all together easily. However you're using these flags, though, just make sure to keep up with consistency, and the more things you find like that in Lightroom that you add to your workflow, the more enjoyable it's going to be. From the Lightroom Whisperer, keep on Lightrooming.